Hello YouTube building community. This is Marcos from Tortuga Costumes. How you doing guys? Um, welcome back here. And so, uh, this is not a secret project. It's been going on for a while. Um, I'm very happy and very pleased with the, with the results. Mm, I mean, um, it's been on the box most of the time and I finally decided to finish it and didn't have time to bring it up to, to the shows. But I mean, it's a, it's a good quality build. I mean, the kit is, I have no complaints for the kit. The kit is really, really good. Um, goes well and a lot of mistakes by myself, obviously, but it's, it's, it's a really good uh, kit. Um, well, this is, first is an AMT kit, um, 55 uh, Chevy Nomad. Um, few things um, for example I did replace the engine because I didn't have the engine and I wanted to do a 427 Chevy engine with a stacks and this is what I came up to um, so rear wheels are from the AMT race kit um, set um, the front wheels are from the kit. Um, I just make a little few uh, changes over there. They look very nice. I mean, I really do enjoy how they look. They came out really, really nice. I added much detail as I could over there. Uh, same here. They look really nice. I did weather a little bit the chassis, like it's been running. I erased the molded in exhaust, um, which you can know how to do it. I mean, you can try to do it, and it's not that complicated. You can check it out on this video. Um, also, what I have here is a uh, um, most of the parts are from from, from the bar box. This is from the power box. Uh, the cap is from like a power box. So I used these 3D printed um, fittings and elbow fitting. I just paint those, and they look really good, really good. I cannot complain at all about that. I didn't add the. Um, I'm focus. Okay, so I didn't add any any grill. I thought I did. I just wanted that aggressive look, and um, this decal is from I forgot what it's coming from. Well, but power box. <laughs> but I mean, it came out really nice. The interior you're not gonna be able to see much, but it's a really good detail. Um, I'm gonna put put some some photos so you can see it better uh, at the end of the video. But it came out really nice. And I scratch build the roll cage, came out really nice. And I paint the the roll cage the same body color, uh, same thing with the with the dashboard. Uh, I didn't do a good job with the foil, um, I guess because I have too much paint on the body. As you can see, I lost most. Let me see. Again. Because you can see, I, I lost most of the detail of the car. Uh, it's too much paint and the clear as you can see here as soon as I put the foil I lost the detail on the for the trim I mean I, I, I did a, a lot of mistakes on this car but like I said it was it was fun it was really fun oh I replaced I removed the molded in uh, handle and I put uh, um, this is a resin one so stacks are from um, my, uh, Detail Masters. A friend of mine, he print he print some Tortuga Customs decals. So I just add that one there. Um, I didn't add the two foils here. Uh, my bad. I probably did, but I probably removed. I don't know. My bad. <laughs> so it's not done. Oh. All right, that's fun. Um, I guess I can do that later on. Okay, so 
Um, like always, my, far, my, my favorite part of the project is the engine. Um, I left the I left the, the radiator from the, from the kit. I removed the, the side walls so I can add my 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 solar wire. So I'm so I add, I add that way I can add my solar wire and exhaust. Um, I detail up a little bit the wow sorry for the word now. I detail up a little bit the the master cylinder. Um, detail up a little bit the battery, which looks really nice. Like I said, the distributor is one of those um, pre-wire ones. Um, not much detail, but as you can see, like I said, you barely see the 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 distributor. So I don't I don't think it's worth it to buy a, a extremely detailed uh, distributor for this this project because you don't see enough from any position that you see the oh you can see over there a little bit barely but like I said you barely see it so I did want it this silver chromy finish on most of the areas I'm gonna put some pictures at the end from from the from the engine um, I detail up as much as I could the front suspension as you can see I even at the the I even at the friend the I even at the brake lines as you can see it on the need of the engine and they'll go all the way to the distributors here in the in the chassis goes direct to the plug and uh, to the calipers on both sides I add some photo edge on these brakes and front and rear they look really nice really really nice uh, I add the um, aluminum tubing um, drive shaft I add a little bit of detail with aluminum sheets the molding what molding the exhaust they came out really really nice and I just have it where I want it as you can see very nice I like it I like it a lot so as you can see over here I hope you can see it you can see the brake lines over there goes to the block and then to the caliper I mean that was a really nice touch and for me it looks really 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 good those little details for me are the ones that makes my build like complete um, there's some gas monkey garage here decal um, but uh, fun build um, if I do that again probably uh, why not because this was a fun fun prom, prom project but there's a lot of different gassers that I want to try and obviously this is not the first one and it won't be the first and the last one um, I mean as a nomad I have plenty nomad to, to think about it for the future uh, promod gasser Prostocker, <laughs> you name it. Uh, no, Prostocker is will be kind of hard to do, but but Gasser definitely and a Promo. Um, but like I said, really fun kit. Um, love it. Paint. I uh, forgot to mention it. Paint is textures um, lime green um, over a gray um, primer. Same with a uh, with a roof. Roof is is textures white. Um, they came out really nice. I mean, I like it. I like it a lot. Um, thing that I did, that I, for example, on the radiator and the battery, uh, is only black primer. I didn't add any gloss or matte finish to it. It's just a primer, uh, decals, and a little bit of touching here and there to make it look better. Simple as that. Um, but yeah. Oh, I, I forgot to mention. I mean, all my gas gas lines are from the from um, Protec, so it's from the tank all the way back to the to the engine. It's all connected. 
I got the alternator is wired, um, starter is wired, the connection from the hose here. Oh, I forgot to mention, that was a fun thing to do. Thanks to BG, um, I bought this thing. It's really, really cool. I mean, it's, it's, um, it's, a, it's, a, it's a glue, it's soft, as you can see. So you just open here, squeeze it, and it's it's gonna it's gonna stay um it's gonna stay uh, liquid until you just turn on this um, blue light. So I did that. I tried that uh, because I saw his video on that, which was really really cool. Um, so what I did with it, I just added to this piece over here to the gas cap to the radiator hoses and what else oh to this one uh, to this uh, fitting over here in the front and and this gas gas line fuel line whatever you want to name it whatever you want to name it i mean i i use it for those areas and and the details on the battery so as you can see you cannot see the glue at all so i i, I ended up like this product a lot um so he recommended on his video I, I bought it um and i recommend that too i mean it's really, really it's, it's it's really easy to use it bonds quick not even eight, eight seconds to uh, to bond um really nice i like i like it i like it a lot i bought this one on, on home depot i mean i guess you can buy it anywhere but that's where i found it <laughs> because I, I i wasn't looking for it i just saw it and said, oh this is what BG says, <laughs> so I just get it. But it was, um, it worked out really good, really, really, really good. So, well, um, I hope you guys had a wonderful Thanksgiving night. That was like a ter past Thursday. I was full as hell. <laughs> I ate too much, and the the worst part that I had to work that night, man. I didn't like that part. <laughs> um, I was my, with my family, they were enjoying. I have to take a nap with them at home. Uh, they were partying, drinking, eating, you name it. And I was sleeping to go back to work. <laughs> it's, it's insane, I know. Um, but now, um, I'm gonna close this. I have already 13 minutes talking about a lot of bullshit. All right, guys, so I hope and um, everybody's doing well. Um, if if I haven't sent you my shop card, um, please let me know um, a new shop card because uh, I totally forgot if I sent it. If I haven't sent it, um, I already saw that a lot of people has already my my shop my new shop card. And if you want one, just ask me for it. I will send it gladly and happy for you uh, to your way. All right. So I guess I see you guys on the next one. All right. Bye.